Capricorn, how you doing? So, <laughs> straight away I'm hearing, I'm trying to force my way in, or I'm trying to divorce my way in. <laughs> I mean, what on earth does that mean? I'm trying to divorce my way into your life. So does somebody have to get divorced first before they get with a person? Or does somebody have to finish with a person and before they start something? Because I'm definitely picking up a sort of either a divorce party <laughs> or like a, a, politi a political party or like a party of something. Hopefully it's not a sausage party again, uh, Capricorn. But uh, I am definitely hearing though, before I, before I start it, I need to finish. Before I get with you, I need to finish with this person first. Or before I get like, because I'm hearing like I need to get divorced. I need to get divorced because it, it's force is the like the forces the armed forces so i'm also picking up someone oh, okay there might be someone here that was from the armed forces the armed forces or well that's a message altogether <laughs> armed forces okay so uh i don't know if that's like a, a marine because i'm picking up marina marina or maria or lm but like the armed forces something to do with the force the force the may the force be with you Something, <laughs> Star Wars, so uh, Aquarius, <laughs> so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, uh, the armed forces, um, but they keep saying to me, for a lot of you, you are the one looking for, to get a divorce, or for Scorpio, you're dealing with definite Scorpio, Scorpio Taurus, so I'm looking for, to get divorced first, or I'm looking for a divorce, or I'm looking for papers, like I'm looking for my papers, like my passport, some of you might physically um sorry if some people are like why is your head not it's because just i like the way the camera is set up that's all it's because i can't tilt it i've got to buy a proper camera stand um get divorced or like i'm looking for my passport like i'm looking for something well they're saying paperwork like i'm looking for paperwork like divorce papers or uh, paperwork in order to go on holiday um yeah, like a settlement. They keep saying like settlement. Like some of you, it's like a retirement home or village. Like a retirement village is what I'm picking up. Like a retirement settlement. Like I'm looking for things to be settled up so I can settle down. Like so I can sit because I'm here. Settle down, settle down, settle down. Order, order, settle down, settle down. And there's a lot of people like that are that are like arguing. Like settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down. Sell down, sell down, sell, my name's Sal, or sell down, or Holden, Texas Holden from Texas, or Selden, sell, 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 sell is selling things, <laughs> but like, because um, I'm hearing order, 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 like this order, some of you are like, you're ordering things, or you're looking at audits, audits, like tax, tax, and stuff like that, tax. But like auditing, right? But I'm also hearing a lot of ordering, like a lot of ordering, like, but also demanding. Something to do with like demand, like, okay, I'm demanding you and I'm ordering this and then I'm demanding you, demanding you, demanding you. On demand. Come on, like on my command. <coughs> what on earth is that? Like on your... It's like on your marks, get set, go, Cancerian energy. But like I'm hearing like armed forces of like, okay, on my command and like some sort of like, I don't know, like people that are all dressed up in like marine outfits or stuff and they're all got like a, like a war hero type sort of funeral thing. And it's like these people in caps and they're like, on my command and <coughs> shoot, on my command and like, man, people being ex... What on earth is this for, man? Why do I have to channel this weird crap for a Capricorn? <laughs> Just make sure this is... Sorry, like I said before, if I look over here, it's because it reflects that this thing's on. Okay. I'm so paranoid about that. <laughs> I don't know why. Because if I don't plug it in, right, if I unplug it and then plug it back in, it flashes red, right? So sometimes I can be sitting here not recording it and wasting my time. Um... Yeah, like the armed forces. I keep picking up like these hats and like this on my command and shoot. <coughs> now, I don't know if this is like an execution, an execution, or if this is 
like or, like going to court and all those kind of things and it's like when you walk through the doorway a bit like Jurassic Park but you walk through the doorway and there's like flags everywhere like flags on fur like flags on fire or like fire signs Ares, uh, Ares Leo or Sagittarius but like armed forces they keep saying that I mean I, I mean half the time Capricorn I don't know if I'm channeling somebody that passed and because they can give me like when my channel's open it can be a deceased loved one, it can be a name, it can be something that you're going through, it can all relate in one energy where everyone's like, oh my God, <laughs> right? So I've got no idea, so I have to just basically go with them. But I'm seeing like the armed forces, like something that is regimented and like a, um, like a send off, but like a funeral and, and somebody that was like an old wartime hero or something, or a lot of this is, yeah, wow, like an old time war hero that dies. And like there was, well, they're saying that there was Wow, is this someone that's really trying to come through for a person? Like, that there was, like, this send-off and that they had this funeral. Yeah, there's a spirit. They're saying that they had this funeral, that you gave them this funeral and this send-off of somebody where there were, like, people that were wearing hats or men in hats. Um, yeah, and there was, like, because I can hear, like, this... Or like someone that does clay pigeon shooting. Clay pigeon? Clay pigeon? Or the name Clayton? Or clay pigeon? Pigeon. Ridgen. The name Ridgen. Mark? Mark Ridgen? Um, but like, yeah, something to do with either clay pigeon shooting and a farmer. Right? Clay pigeon shooting and a farmer. Or somebody that physically does shoot a lot of guns in places. Wherever that is, I don't know. Because in... Um, in in the UK, like obviously, <laughs> sorry, I always get so paranoid about this microphone, man. Um, like in um, in the UK, we don't have gun laws, so in laws, they're saying gun laws, in laws. Laura, the name Laura, or gun gunning for somebody, like because gunning for someone is like I'm out to get you, like I am out to get you, I'm gunning for you, right. <clears throat> I'm gunning for you. Your nephew. Something to do with your nephew. I mean, are these... Sorry, but are these straight up like computer games? Like like Call of Duty and all that sort of stuff? Because <laughs> it could be a simple thing like that that I'm kind of like channeling. Because I'm picking up like a lot of shooting. Like, like... <laughs> well, I mean, I'm hoping to God that these are not messages that are given to you by spirit like of physical guns, Right? Or if it is like a message of, like a send off, and it was a funeral, or is a funeral, or was a funeral. Jim Morrison, the name Jim or James or Justin or Julian or Jason, Jasmine, Jason, but like a send off, like a Scorpio, because I'm picking up big, big, big references of Scorpio, Scorpio. But for some of this, it might even be something like <laughs> Call of Duty or or a person that plays a lot of like shooting games. Right, but I'm also picking up a film, something games, like Michael Douglas game, the game, or something games, something games, like the, the, what, like a sports thing, something games, or like um, the Phoenix and the the, what was that film called, man, uh, Raven or. Uh, sports games or something like that sports games or the london marathon or something like that or the something games but there's a film there i think there's one two and three and it was something to do with the phoenix like phoenix house some phoenix house well phoenix house in britain is a drug rehabilitation center so like a center drug re drug rehab or something um what am I? <laughs> I'm kind of picking up for, for this main message for you though. It's something to do with around like men in hats, men in hats, and like a shooting, <clears throat> or like a send off for somebody, and a send off, like standoff. Rudolph, Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer. What reindeer? Something to do with Christmas? 
like going to Lapland or something. Are any of you planning to go to Lapland? Lapland? Uh, Capricorn. Anything else for Capricorn for... Actually, to save my paranoia, because I don't really know what this sounds like, because it's normally all right for me, is my voice normally too loud and then too quiet, and too loud and too quiet? Because um, this microphone's bugging me. <laughs> um, it, to be honest, it feels like that there is something that is bugging you, that something that is on your mind or something that you're trying to speak about. Speaker, on speaker. On speaker, like on speaker. Well, isn't that a, isn't that a, um, a broadcasting thing? On speaker, on because they keep saying on speaker, like but this, like is it recording? Like is it recording or red means recording? Uh, it came up in another reading that was Jeremy, Jeremy. I thought Jeremy may have I don't know because I was picking up his name. But uh, recording something on a microphone, but paranoid about speaking through a, a, a microphone? Like, I can't speak through a microphone, or like, is my mic on? Is my, hello, is my mic on? Hello, is my mic on? Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, action, hello, is my mic on? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, because I'm picking up that, like, shh, hello, yeah, shh, yeah. Roger 99, Roger 99, yeah, coming through. Like a policeman. Like a policeman, someone that is physically on, like, a... Like, it's got like a wire. It's got like a wire, and then, or if, I mean, if it's not a wire, then it's like a mole or a wire. But like, um, I'm picking up someone that goes, hello, yeah, ksh, 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 hello, yeah, yeah, coming through, yeah, I'll be there in a second, hold on, ksh. like, and then they've got like an earpiece on, and like in their ear, and they're kind of like um, surveillance, like someone's being watched outside their house, like a, a drug raid or something or like a like because they keep saying that whatever this is it's to do with either the armed forces like speaker or like because of speaker I'm picking up like someone that has like a like a setup and it goes around their ear and they say okay are you ready like are you on set and they're like yeah okay yeah can you just check my microphone yeah okay like sh hello yeah okay check yeah one two three one 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 two one like, and it's kind of like, a, I don't know, like a, a, a star that goes on stage or like an Aquarian energy. But for some of this, this is like a, because it's like check one, two, check one, two, check, 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 check one, two, check, check, check. And like check your microphone, <laughs> right? Because for some reason I normally do check that, but I'm getting paranoid about it for some reason. And it's kind of coming up as... I don't know, trust me, synchronicities of me of why a message may be related is because I have to go off the feeling and it, uh, it's a difficult process, Capricorn. But like, um, whatever this is, I'm picking up like surveillance officer, someone being surveilled, or like, or like, hello, yeah, okay, yeah, and I can see like a van sitting outside of someone's house ready to go in, like ready to like kick the door in maybe. I mean, don't get paranoid, you know, <laughs> but like someone from Australia or something, like, cause I'm picking up Ozzy Osbourne, Australia, paranoid, right? So, or Pantera, paranoid, um, but like paranoid. Well, trust me, I get it around my channel or so because there's a few things that I'm kind of witnessing I'm saying this to Tara, mentioning no kind of situation at all. But um, I kind of have my suspicion sometimes that some people are not really who they say they are. That um, a little while ago I had a thing with a person that used to keep changing their icon and then, trust me, this person had like four or five different emails, four or five different emails. And from each email, they had actually a different name they would change their name to a different person but they would change their icon to a person that wasn't them like it wasn't the actual person they would just have an icon of like i don't know take something randomly off the internet and then actually put it as their icon and then change their name all together and have like a goddamn alter ego and they would be a different person and they would talk different things but they would slowly which is why i observed the energy uh, slowly start to um, slowly start to 
because people slip up. When I watch people slip up of who they really are, and I notice through observing, when I'm observing the chat window, right, I observe people, right, a lot. And when my spidey sense starts kicking off, some people end up saying, like, where they're from and whatnot. And I think, well, the, hold on a second. That was where that other person was from before when this was going on. And then they start leaving certain synchronicities of, like, ah, like, I'm sure I know who you are. <clears throat> and uh, a lot of you may know that I kind of knew this about a person a while back. And um, I'm kind of getting that same vibe again, unfortunately, that there may be someone here that has an icon of a name that really isn't who you think they are. And they are someone completely different. Like their icon has changed completely. I'm not about all you folks that just, you know, I'm on about there are some people out there that have changed or somebody has changed their icon and their name again. Their name again. Like they're not who you think they are. They're a completely different person. Well, that's my suspicions anyway. But whether that's a message for you guys or not, I've got no idea. But like I said, be warned that if this is a message for you, because I'll just put it out there very briefly, some people can change their email, right? If, you, if they have another email and another email and another email, they'll set up another YouTube account and another YouTube account and another YouTube account. And then they can appear up as someone completely and utterly different and you don't even know they are, right? Me, I observe energy and I realize what people say because I watch, <laughs> right? I watch what people say and what they do and I kind of gather my energy of thinking, there's something not quite right with you, <laughs> right? And uh, if there isn't, and then they start saying like where they're from and been from and so on and so forth, I kind of can smell out a lie pretty much quite quickly. <laughs> so it's down to your own judgment, Capricorn, of whatever this may be, because I hope it, this isn't that internet thing again. Okay, but your message is there is something to do with around surveillance, like surveillance and watching somebody a, a close like close quarters of watching them. Now, I don't know if this is like drug related or rehab related or like uh, someone being raided or whether it just means like there is like a, a security guard or a security officer here, like and someone's going, Shh, hello, yeah, they're just coming back. Yeah, okay, now they're just going into the house. Yeah, now they've left. Okay, now they've left. Don't think, this is my psychopathic ex because I very much doubt anybody would waste their time I'm picking this message up more of someone that's being surveilled by something that they shouldn't do. Now, whether this is like a, a goddamn absolute raving lunatic ex and somebody is like, I need you to... Okay, they're saying <laughs> that this might be where somebody has rented out a private detective in order to find out if their husband or wife is cheating. Because <laughs> I'm picking up like someone in a car like where, it, I mean, I'm not going to, I really don't want to give these messages out to people because trust me, if you don't know this message, then it isn't for you, right? Don't get paranoid and think, my God, is that my ex? And that is because I know them. Do, no, 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 no. I'm on about maybe if one of you have done this, right? But generally I'm picking up of like a car or a van and somebody possibly taking photographs of somebody, right? Or possibly taking photographs. I mean, it could even just be a very simple message of someone taking photographs, right? Trust me, it could. But I definitely keep picking up that why would this van be outside, like, surveying? Which means that it's kind of telling me that somebody out there, could be a Capricorn, has tried to find out about, like, maybe wanting a divorce or, like, wanting to find out if their ex is a multiple offender or something and that we need to in order to like take photographs and get evidence of this person if they are physically doing that is what i'm picking up right so however that mes message for you merges in or even ends up playing out i can't never tell you whether it's past present future or what the scenario is of apart from they're saying that it could well be something to do with someone trying to find out info on a person that they can't get themselves so, <clears throat> um, this could well be, like I said, I don't know what this surveillance person is because I'm picking up this, hello, yeah, okay, yeah, Roger 99, okay, yeah, go through to Alpha, Delta, whatever, Alpha, Delta, Gamma, Ray, <laughs> but like uh, some sort of like, I don't know, uh, well, that's meditation, right? Um 
Yeah, unless their names Alfie, Gamma, Gavin, Gavin, Gav, Gavin, Steers, Gav, Alfie, Ray, Al Ray. Someone's still spying on that. I've come up with that through the Libra reading. If you're cross watching the Libra reading, I do apologise so much for your readings constantly being about business. I'm going to stop doing that, I think, and just do some cards. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I'll get the main messages, and they really may not relate to you. And I'm sorry for the lot that I really, where it's really not relating. But Spirit will get me to pick up the most, you know, strongest signal, right? Um, and it's something to do with around that. And I've gone over this with you guys before, and it could really be things like that. You know, people from around my town or something. <clears throat> or the people that, you know, and they're watching, because it was relating Capricorn Libra, and in the Libra reading I said it was a Piscean, okay, and then it was Capricorn um, Libra Piscean Energy Aquarius. So it'd be people like that, you know, feeding info back. It's, it's probably her. She's probably, like, on here somewhere, maybe, and just going back and feeding it back. Because um, I am dealing with Capricorn, and that person is in that, soul energy of that all going on like i said it's somebody that 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 watches uh people at work and then they go back and they feed it back to like bosses and stuff like that but when i was there a lot of that was lies it was you know it was someone that oh man i ain't gonna go to into what a narcissistic person can cause for hysterically but you know y'all just learn yourselves right but I am picking up that kind of energy here. Someone that goes off and feeds info back to other people. you know, And it could even be a straight up boss scenario. But it's got cross comparisons here of Libra. Of Libra, what was in the Libra readings. Um, so you might have Libra in your chart or dealing with one. But theirs was all about business and about surveillance and spying. I can't remember what come out through their tarot readings. But like I said, if you are, you know, if you are watching from that, I'm sorry, uh, very sweet person that was saying, you know, thanks, Steve, blah, blah, blah. The readings really won't relate within the Libra ones. You know, if you're not on Patreon, you, you'll have to watch Patreon, unfortunately, because this bit is just pretty much just like for entertainment purposes. I do a few cards and then the main part of the reading of what you might be looking for is, is has to be paid for. OK, so, you know, if it don't relate here, it might relate over there. OK. But whatever people do for support, it you know, is all right. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely picking up like this surveillance, surveillance, surveillance officer or an officer and a gentleman. Richard, gear, Richard, Richard or gear. You see, have you got any gear? Top gear. That came up in another reading and I said, oh my God, Jeremy, Jeremy or Jeremy Clarkson. Jeremy, 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 Jeremy. And it came up through... Uh, I can't remember what reading that was now. Leo? Was it Leo? Leo reading. I think I said Jeremy, 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 Jeremy. But germaphobe or germ um, or Jeremy or Jay. Jason, Julian, Justin, Je Jennifer, all these. Uh, but yeah, what on earth is this about surveillance? Like surveillance cameras. Because I think you had that before, like a... Um, Candid camera. Candid camera. Like someone's very candid or they're always got their top off. <laughs> like they're always got their top off. Top off. Like very candid. One likes to be watched or seen with their top off. That's what I'm picking up. Or carrot top. Someone that's a <laughs> ginger. There you go. There's pussy. But, um, because I'm picking up carrot top. But, like, it's always got their top off. But photographs. But Candid Camera came up from, or Cameron, no, that was a child, sorry, I'm not going to that one again. Cameron. Um, but photographs, children taking, like, school photographs or something. What on earth? Children photographs? Oh man, I'm leaving this now. <laughs> sorry, Capricorn. <laughs> Sometimes your lot really do disturb me. <laughs> but. Like taking, take, 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 uh, Tatiana Rexon. There you go. You're all right. How you getting on, um, Tatiana? Um, but like candid camera really is taking photographs without one's consent, like a photograph of what, without because that could be candid camera, because that used to be Jeremy Beadlin and all that, wasn't it? Like candid camera. 
but Candid and Camera was more about taking photographs of people without consent, which is, like I said, a person in a van or a car taking photographs of a person. Man, this is a strange person that is hanging around schools. Oh dear, oh dear, why do I have to deal with this kind of energy? Oh no, Capricorn. <laughs> There's a person here that takes photographs. This might be Michael, hopefully that's not you, Michael Rogers. <laughs> but like, takes photographs takes photographs of school, in schools of kids or... Man, sorry, but I'm going to say this. A while ago, when I used to work for a company, my boss would just randomly throw out uh, messages to everybody and she wouldn't actually direct it at a person, right? So she would just make it known. That some people at work, they were getting phone numbers of... Oh, man, I can't say all of this sort of shit. <laughs> uh, I'll leave that. Whether this be true or not, I've got no idea because it's in my head. Because I'm kind of putting two and two together. There could be somebody here that is in a van or in a car outside or even in a school that is taking photographs of children. Now, if this is like... Um, if this is something to do with around where it is literally kids that are actually physically like going to school and having their photograph took, that's fine. That's like school photograph, right? But the disturbing bit is, is that I am picking up somebody that's taking photographs outside of something. And the message is changed to something to do with around three, which is school. Taking photographs of children. Anyway, that may have been your last messages that were in your last reading, Capricorn, um, that were candid camera. So that seems to have changed now, where this might even be happening at a school for some reason. I don't know what it is. Okay, um, but let's see. Uh, Capricorn, so your your messages here could be completely different, Capricorn, now, right? Your, your, your messages for tarot could be completely different than what that is. Because when the channel is open, they can relate to anybody, anything, right? I can't ever really tell you. Um, see, I'm also hearing Stephen, and I, I didn't want to say it because my name's Steve. A person's already called Capricorn is Steve. And some people have been telling me, yes, my ex and is another Steve. So even though this isn't involving me, <laughs> I have to give you the name of Steve also. Trust me, these things like freak me out because I think, how is this involving me? <laughs> I'm hearing Steve. Steve. Okay, Steve. So however that's relating with you, there's multiple Steves out there in the universe. <laughs> right? So whatever that's relating with you, I don't know. Okay? Um... But it does freak me out when my own name comes up in certain messages when, <laughs> you know. But uh, anyway, let's see. Capricorn. Like I said, these messages through the cards can be completely and utterly different. Uh, Capricorn. For April. Clients, people, children, talking. But working with children, <laughs> or you have kids or children. Can't tell you really what the messages were here, but children, right? Um, come on children, let's play, is what I'm hearing, like Chucky, Chucky, a Chucky doll, or like, let's look through the round window, play school, play school, Jemima, Jemima, or school, play school, or kids are going back to school, but school's out, I'm also hearing the name Summer, Summer, school's out for Summer. Or well, somebody's out to get somebody. I mean, it's not in a bad way. It's just that somebody is coming in fast and furious as well. Furious. I don't know why I'm picking up. I am furious. Any of you move and I'll... Oh, okay. We're going to leave that one. <laughs> um, Capricorn. Capricorn for April. Sorry, I've got to adjust my seat. Because it won't... This is what I'm saying. <laughs> 
This is why I <coughs> want to put it all the way down, it won't let me turn it. I have to lift it up so I can turn, and it's really annoying me because I was like that all the time. Like, you're right, Arthur Grim, like, Mr. Grimsdale, like, what? <laughs> I've really got to get myself a proper seat, I really am. Take a seat, Sagittarius, calm your tits and sit down. Capricorn, right? But you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for April. <coughs> more clients, more kids. Whoa! Client, 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 clientele, 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 clientele. Can't you tell? 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 What's that? Can't you tell that I've got a flavour for you? Can't you tell that I'm taking this from you? Can't you tell that I'm trying to take this from you? Someone might be trying to take their children away from them, or clients, or people, I don't know, but I'm hearing, can't you tell that I'm trying to take this from you, or can't you tell that I'm trying to get your attention here? Can't you tell, can't you tell, can't you tell, or the name Terry, or Terry Tibbs, Terry Tibbs, a brand new five pound note, I'll buy you a new motor. I don't know if any of you ever watched Phone Jacker, Terry Tibbs was a car salesman, uh, so the name Sal, or a car salesman, or uh, that came up in another couple of readings where it was to do with a car salesman, and I said, Sonny, when I bought my car, something to do with like uh, a car, a cancerian, or I bought my car, but Terry Tibbs, I'll buy it off you for a brand new £10 note. It was someone that was dodgy on the phone, because it was called Phone Jacker, <laughs> right? Someone was, or the name Jackie, or Jackson, or Julian, or Jason, or Justin, but uh, Jackie, uh, Jackal and Hyde here, Someone's, because it's swarming Aries, swarming Aries, sworn, like a sworn society is what I'm picking up, like a secret sworn society, like I need you to swear an oath, I need you to swear an oath, S take oath, I'm also hearing like Roman Egypts as well, because here they said, oh take oath then, take oath. Take oath on your child. Go on, take oath on your child. Like, you know, swear on your life, right? So it's kind of like this, I'm swearing. But somebody could be talking to multiple people here. I mean, you know, nothing against anybody, but somebody could be talking to multiple people. He's got three all lined up in a row. Um, yeah, I'm staying out of it. <laughs> I'm fed up with keep giving my opinion over to how I see things. Um, but anyway, yeah, you've got clients here. You've got kids, you've got sex, you've got children, you've got messages here. These are fresh minds here. These are fresh minds here that are going towards Aries. Because they're like either fresh children or fresh people off the press here. Dressed to impress is what I'm hearing. Like I'm trying to make an impression. Trying to make an impression. But um, yeah, I'm not going to give my, <laughs> my uh, status there. Um, let's see. Careful. Capricorn, your reading is pretty bland. It was well, like grand. I'm hearing it's a grand. It's grand. Something to do with though, like a car salesman. They keep saying, well, a car salesman can be dodgy, right? Because they, because a, because a car salesman is somebody that get you to buy something, right? So someone's trying to get you to finance them, or trying to get you to, to buy their car. Because this is a salesman, like making a sales pitch, or sell. But I'm trying to get you to buy my stuff, or like, buy a car. I mean, even though this isn't a car, it's something that's quick. Like, I need, like... But these are children, these are people that work for kids. They work for kids, children, here. They work at a school for children. But it's strange because this person here is focused here on someone that they really want. Okay, this is kind of like, no, I really want you. Like, I really want you here. 
and this is here these these are coming in Let's see Capricorn. One more card for Capricorn. See Nine of Swords. You got Virgo energy possible, but like stress about children and kids, stressful. See, this is why I say, you know, I've I've had a person yesterday from the um, Virgo and Leo reading. The Virgo one was great. Leo reading had a very complicated bit in here. But yesterday, somebody came on the channel and started calling me fat and useless and God knows what else and got very personal with the amount of attack that they were telling me. What do you mean donut? I don't eat donuts. You're a donut. You're ugly. You're fat. Like projecting it at me. That donut message was my girlfriend. She eats a lot of donuts, unfortunately. She eats donuts. We're going out down the coast today to get coffee and hot donuts. That was a message for someone. This person was trying to make everything fit and then say, no, I, I don't even have a job. Who do you think you're talking to? Well, you don't have a job. You've lost your goddamn fucking mind, sweetheart. Right? But in the Leo and Virgo reading, it was all in the Virgo reading, and their reading was great. It was absolutely brilliant. Their whole reading, the best reading that I've done through on Patreon was Virgo reading. It was a great goddamn reading. But someone was coming on saying, no. It's probably because that person's moved on with their life. You're probably cross-watching someone that's moved on. That's the last thing you want to do is watch a reading of your partner that's moved on. Because if they're seeing someone else, you're going to like really piss yourself off. And that karma is just going to come back to you to confuse the shit out of you. right? And this is why I'm saying, these people here are fresh minds, are fresh minds, right? It's a minefield of people that you never know who watches and listens to what it is, right? So when you deal with clients and people, right, you have an obligation. And this is what I've flipped out through in another reading of people that are absolutely off their face doing readings. They're stoned off their nut, or they're like doing shots in their eye, or they come on camera like necking whiskey and God knows what else. That's not responsible. That's not, you're, you're, you know, you have a responsibility for people here, right? And if you're doing all that kind of stuff, to me, that isn't responsible, right? So, you know, I take my job very seriously, right? Because, like I said, these are young, fresh minds. And you never know, like that person, that comes in with riddled with goddamn PTSD, right? Now, when you give over advice to people, there's nobody to say whether that be right or wrong. Trust me, right? But, you know, I've had people that have come to me were, were riddled with questions that, are, that wasn't even in their reading. It wasn't even in their life, you know. And that the advice that they've had from different people, they'd, they'd got, like, the wrong advice. And I was like, no, it's not. You're, you're feeding the energy. You're not making it right. And that's what I'm saying. You, you don't know, like, the fresh minds that do things. You don't know the, the capability of who people are or what they are or behind the camera or God knows what else. You don't know people. Like you think you know, but you don't know these people. Like you don't know me either. Like you've got no idea who I am. Right? Because I'm picking up this energy for for some strange strangeness. Responsible. Responsibilities. Because somebody could have three children here, like they have three kids. But, you know, if this reading turns around and goes to the negative side, that a lot of people look for the negative stuff. Trust me, I see people in the chat constantly looking for the negative part. When I say, God, have you not moved on yet? You know, some people would really struggle from moving on from their partner. They'll, they'll hold on to it for dear life. That's why I said you've got to be careful around empaths. Empaths are the fucking raving lunatics because they're the ones that are desperate for a, like a piece of energy to grab hold of, to learn or to suckle onto or like that gets distraught through the feminine energy, right? 
So you can, you can hold on to your ego for fucking years and months and, well, years, years and years and years and years and years. My awakening has just kind of subsided. That took nine years. <laughs> nine years for my awakening to fully, you know, start to, to, to get over it, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, you know, because at the, at the moment, this reading is good. This reading is good. You know, you've got clients, you've got kids, you've got children, you've probably got three offers, or you're talking with your partner constantly here. But there's the Nine of Swords, right? Which means that this might be like, this is not good enough. This is not good enough. This is actually plaguing my mind now. What is what it is, you see? I could say this to people and, you know, this is what I'm saying. Please do not, if you don't know of surveillance cameras and God knows what else, then the message isn't yours. Please do not sit there and make every goddamn message that I say just because I'm doing Capricorn and make that work in your head and think, oh my God, now I'm paranoid. Now I've like heard something that you've done or said and now I've lost my mind. Don't ever, 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 ever use tarot in that form to, to do that, right? Don't make energy fit. Don't make a message of me saying about surveillance and cameras because that will be a message maybe that I just pick up here that could really just be relating with one person. But please do not lose your mind after this reading and turn into this, right, thinking that I'm talking about you right especially if you're cross watching a person that may be moved on and they've got kids or children because you'll piss yourself off because you'll you'll think that i'm talking about you from another part of it right so you'll get fresh people that don't understand terror they'll lose their mind thinking that i'm talking about that person and they've got no idea how to work a tarot card reading they don't know what out to you know what parts to leave and what parts mean a lot to them and what bits don't and a tarot reader doesn't have always hours to go over every single possible message that this could be for you and then you get people that come along were riddled with PTSD and you say one wrong thing and they've lost their goddamn mind you know so when you do this kind of thing you've got to have responsibility right so here I'm picking up, so what I'm making sure for people that are watching me, do not get the messages of being spied, because these are spies as well, you know, these are information gatherers, these are things that may not be talking, which means they're trying to find out an answer from somebody, which means you can be kind, I want an answer, can you give me an answer for it? Can you give me an answer? Can you give me an answer? Can you give me an answer? They can be subscribers, right? And all that sort of stuff. But please, again, do not post in the chat trying to get people from here over to other channels, right? Because uh, uh, without my consent, and if I don't see that as the right way, I'll take it as an offence because I didn't give my permission for it, okay? Sorry if I rub people up the wrong way, but I would need to give my permission to put that to it, right? So please, no guiding people over to different channels, okay? I'm sorry if that comes across strange, but sometimes I don't agree with certain things. And, um, you know, if I've spent a long time trying to say things to people, and then they go to, an, you know, it, it's just missed energy. I would rather leave it up to other people to make their own decisions, you know, what they want to do, without, like, no, I want you to go and redirect you, you know, Because you, you'll get people that give over different messages, right? And if, you, if you've got people that kind of understand against people that really do, it's kind of spreading things, right? <coughs> so I would rather just not be a part of that instead of me keep losing my mind every time these messages come up for me here, <laughs> right? Because um, you've got the Nine of Swords. So we're going to go on the rest of your reading. Sorry, Capricorn, but that's kind of what I'm picking up for you. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to go over to the other side, sorry. Uh, I'm actually going away today. I'm actually going to the coast for a little while with my girlfriend. Um, but, yeah. Uh, if you want the rest of the reading, you can find it on Tier 1 or the Full Access Bundle. If you are part of the Full Access Bundle, that is where you will have access to all of the other readings that come out through the month. Generally, as they come out through the month, we keep the energy very current because this could be happening now and continuing on. Uh, but the rest of the readings, whatever it is that I do throughout the month, comes out 
they all go straight over to the full access button. So you have, you know, the, the energies can change, the messages can change, things can be different. I'll pick up on different signals, different info, different readings, you know, so on and so forth. But as it stands at the moment, you have two options if you want, which is the full access bundle or uh, tier one, which is you'll get both of these anyway. But full up, full spread, clarified, and to see what you've got coming up generally for your month. Okay, so thanks, Capricorn, and uh, I will hopefully see you on the link provided below.